What's up Income Heroes and welcome back to another awesome software review. Today we're looking at Follower. I've been using this now for about two weeks and there are some really good things. There are some pretty bad things, but overall I want to look into it and decide for myself whether I want to use this going forward and whether you should use this going forward for your business needs as well. So word to the wise is the very first kind of like multi-platform social media post that I've ever used. So my experience levels with this is kind of like medium, I'd say. It's not like it's not super experienced. I'm sure there's lots of different platforms that use this type of tool. And generally, so far, my experience with it has been really, really good. There's two modes for follower. You can buy this. I've got a link in the description and the comment section. I've found the best deal you can possibly get. It is a lifetime deal. It's not a monthly deal, so it's going to save you a lot of money if you click that link. And it helps out the channel as well, obviously. So you can go dark or you can go light. It's totally up to you. And to show you for the tier that I got, which is the, the lowest tier, um, you get 10 AI images per month. You get 2000 AI words per month, and then you get one user for your company. Then you go ahead, you connect up your Instagram, you connect up your Facebook, you connect up your Twitter slash X, you connect up your LinkedIn and your TikTok. And then they've got two other platforms, which I don't typically use, which is Medium and Pinterest. Pinterest is really, really good, but just for, for this type of niche, it doesn't really suit me and my goals. So I stick to the ones that do suit me, for the most part, which are these. So from here, you can go to post generation and you can actually ask the AI to generate some uh, some posts for your various social medias. I really enjoy using this from URL section because I will just go to my like YouTube channel and I will actually grab one of the links from my YouTube videos and I'll pop it in here and then it will generate a post. For example, let's grab this uh, 50 AI blogs right here. Just grab the link. And then we'll whack that in there and see what it, it creates for our various social medias. And we can schedule that in to give you a good example of how this actual tool works. So once you've got that link, you just simply pop it in, you press read URL. This will go to that URL and pick up all the information it potentially needs. It obviously doesn't watch the video, but it does basically grab all the information it possibly can from it. OK, so it's done that. Now it's going to say generate one post and this will generate a post. It will also generate an AI image. Now, there is obviously the, the simple fact we're going to get into this more later about AI images and this tool um, as it's kind of a sore spot, I think, for this tool. However, hopefully the AI, AI images actually does a good job. If it does, then this is perfect. It's going to use one up. So this basically means if you're using an AI image for every post, you only have 10 posts per month on tier one. Um, which doesn't really quite match up with the amount of words you get. As you can see, I've used nearly all my AI uh, image credits and my word count isn't like, well, it's just reached a quarter of my allowance, which is quite crazy. Okay, so it's now got a Twitter post here, which is pretty cool. I can go ahead and press add in the Instagram, add in Facebook, add in LinkedIn, and I can even get TikTok added in there if I want to, but as I'm only using these four, that is kind of what I'm aiming for right now. And as you can see, the image does change to what platform you're actually using this for, which is quite useful as well. Navigating the evolving landscape of AI content creation, insights, costs, transparency, share your thoughts on the latest advancement and pricing model. And then it links the, the YouTube video. OK, cool. Share your thoughts. This is very um, it. It sounds very AI. -y. It doesn't sound very interesting. There's nothing interesting about this social media post um so i would definitely go into that and edit it up okay and then we're just going to change the hashtags to a bit more relevancy there you go so we've got the hashtags we've got the video in there and we've done everything like that now this is the cool bit if i press that tick button right there this will actually update all of the other posters as well to uh to actually oh it used to it didn't do it this time oh no so this has changed. Uh, it didn't actually take all this information I put in here. Usually, if when I change the information on one, it changes it on all of them, but apparently not this time. So I'm just going to have to go in and change that manually for each one. OK, so I've manually changed each of that for, for that. The, for some reason, it just missed the mark on this particular post. All the others so far, it's been really, really good. Uh, but that's generally been really good. So let's just save that now. And now that's saved. 
we can go ahead and press publish or you can schedule it now i'm going to schedule this for later um because this this is like the suggested schedule time but i can just press schedule for later now i happen to know i've got posts going out every wednesday until the 23rd so i'm ideally gonna aim for the 30th of october and press save and it doesn't really matter the time for me i'm happy for that to be 3 p.m and that is now scheduled perfect excellent and we can save all and now what we can do is we can actually go to our calendar at the top right here and we can just have a little look at all of our social media posts on our calendar so as you can see here this was my initial testing of posts right here i was just testing and trying to figure posts out once i figured it all out i kind of actually started doing this and organizing them so now i've got one going out to, uh, tomorrow and then i've got one going out the following wednesday the following wednesday for like the whole month basically and these are the various images i can click on them to have a little look so that's the alfana one there's the instagram facebook linkedin this is all just sending more traffic towards my youtube and this is the next one which is just generating my youtube channel and the tool switchy which is pretty useful and then this one is kw hero again just doing the each each one specifically has to be done for each one every time we can you know it, it just needs to be done the more the merrier that's what i say the more the merrier okay and there you go you can see i've got all those scheduled now now let's talk that there's so much to this it's honestly crazy how much there is to this you can see all the pictures you've generated um i've only had one bad one and i deleted it so yeah that was one ai image credit used and that was kind of frustrating now I have watched other people review this tool because I wanted to get some information on what they thought about this tool and I wanted to see if they've changed anything since those videos are like over eight months old and unfortunately the feedback they have given the the people who made this tool have done nothing to change it they they clearly don't agree they aren't willing to listen to feedback and it's quite frustrating so do I suggest this tool? Yes, it's a really, really good tool. However, if there's things you don't like about this tool, don't expect that to change anytime soon. I just don't see them changing it. And this is what I don't like about this tool. The AI image credits. I think that is a really disingenuous way of marketing um, an AI software tool. Giving 10 credits for AI images for 2000 words is quite ridiculous in my opinion i've used like a quarter of my word count and yet i've used all of my ai image credits when i mentioned this to the developers of this tool they very much had the the response of oh you're not a small business you're a bigger business go and buy another credit uh, so you can basically have more ai images and i'm like that that is not the case at all I am a one man band wagon and I should have more than 10 image credits for per month. That's not at all the case. I'm not a big company. I don't need to do millions of posts per month. But I need to do more than 10, more than 10. If I'm organizing and paying for a service, I want more than 10. Of course, I'm not stupid. So here's the thing. When you want to get in touch with this company, they are difficult to get in touch with. You can't just open up messages and be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to message them. No, you have to go through all the help section and try and find a way of getting through. And you have to keep pressing, was this helpful? No. Was this helpful? No. And then eventually it says, do you want to message them about this? And you say, yes, then you're allowed to message them. Now, the message was kind of fair. What they said is like they, you know, for tier one, they don't rely on AI images. Um, it is fair and it isn't. I think anyone signing up to this tool is really looking to get some AI image credits on. And I don't think, I, I think they're delusional if they think that people are just signing up for cross posting and that's it. I think that these AI images and AI word counts are what make this tool unique because you can literally say, just generate me a post. I haven't got inspiration right now. Here's a URL, just generate me some posts. And as a social media influencer, you don't always have lots of like, inspiration to make these posts so sometimes you just have a url and you're like oh just make it for me so you make it and then what you don't have enough image credits that's frustrating so they do have and i haven't looked into this enough i i have asked the question but he didn't actually answer that the question i asked it 
in my message to him, is there a way that I can potentially sign up or connect up a OpenAI account so that I can have image generation created for me or not? Now I can see that there are external API keys I can add in here, but I'm not sure if any of these are actually good for image models. I'm not actually sure if I can like create images with these OpenAI tools or anything like that, because it doesn't really say anything about that. So I'm really kind of like lost on that one. I did ask that question um, in my message, but it didn't really get addressed. We have gone back and forth a few times and just going off the conversation with the guy, I kind of don't want to waste my time talking to him anymore at the moment because it feels a little bit like um, I'm talking to someone who's taking my response, going to chat GPT and saying, reply to this person, but let them know that nothing's changing. That That's honestly the response that I feel like I'm getting from, from them. And I don't think that this is going to change at all anytime soon. So if you are going to get this tool, just bear in mind, you do have very limited AI image credits. And you should mostly use this tool for the calendar effect of basically creating your post and organizing them uh, throughout the month. That's why you should mostly use this tool. You shouldn't really use it from an AI perspective because they don't give you enough credits to make it like worth using as a single one man bandwagon. You would need to buy like multiple tiers just to be able to use their basic functionality. So uh, yes, I just wanted to cover that. In terms of stars, I'm going to be generous here I'm gonna, because that's a really, it really bugs me and pisses me off. I wasn't going to say piss me off because I think it's a very aggressive way of saying it, but I'm just going to say it really pisses me off when you get bad um, customer service responses from like a company. And the second thing is I really hate laddering. And this is what laddering is when they basically offer a really good package of words, but then something like AI images, which is what you need forces you to go into tier two and that's laddering and loads of companies do this and it really is annoying from a customer perspective getting laddered and forced into getting like a higher tier just so i can use the core functionality of this tool it frustrates me i know that LearnWire, who's another software um reviewer in the same industry he said the exact same thing as myself and i really respect the guy and his opinions on this stuff so if he's saying the same thing as me we both think it we're both saying it's a good tool. It is a good tool, but that is a, a problem and they should address it and they should stop turning around and say, oh, you should just buy the higher tier. You should add, actually, this should be, you know, between 50 and 100 AI images um, for tier one. Then it should be the next level up. If your tool is good enough, people are going to buy multiple tiers of the tool because it's good enough. Stop trying to force people up by reducing. It's, it's so frustrating when companies take a really good product that they've created and they offer a lower tier and make the customer pay to get more of what they should have originally. It just doesn't make sense. So I do think followers should address that and they should change that. It's a shame, shame on them for not taking um, the feedback that was given from LearnWire and some of the other content creators who've made reviews about this. But generally, I, I do love this tool and I'm probably going to keep it because it is just useful being able to go to a calendar and say, oh, hey, here's all my posts. I'm going to post about this, 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 this. Um, the only annoying thing is I'm going to have to go to another AI to generate the images, then download them, upload them into this tool so that I can post them. That's the only frustrating thing. I want it all to be nice and simple and easy to go from one tool, but that's just we're not there yet. I'm going to try out some other AI posting tools and see what I, I come up with. I'm going to give this a four star. It, I'm not going to lie, it's very close to a 3.5 star, very close, but I'm going to give it a four star because the tool functionality is really, really good. The other two things did let it down, but it is what it is. That's life. Sorry to rant at you guys. I really hope you enjoy this tool review. I really do love the this tool generally for like this, and I am going to be like doing all my social media posts from here going forward. I'll keep you updated. If I find another tool, I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching. This was the follower software review. Have a lovely day.